Hey guys, it's Keely, and today I'm going to be filming my very first reading vlog, and I'm very excited. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time, and I'm finally back on my reading game. I hope I have finished two books in the last two days, so I was like, this is the perfect time to do this reading vlog. Um, as you can see, I already showered and put my makeup on. It is actually currently 11, 12 a.m., so it's kind of later in the day already, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this vlog started. I'm gonna go eat, and then we will discuss what I'm going to be reading. Okay, so here's the deal. I don't know what I want to read. So the two books that I just finished were The Throne of Fire and The Serpent Shadow by Rick Riordan, which are books two and three in the Cain Chronicle series. So I just finished a series, and I'm not sure if I want to read more Rick Riordan, just because I got out of that, and you know it's one of those things where you finish reading Rick Riordan, but like you don't want to finish. So do I want to read another Rick Riordan series? Do I want to read a standalone because I just finished a series? Um, I've also been thinking about rereading some favorites um, and completing some series that I've started but haven't finished because I have quite a few series that I have started but haven't finished. But that's the problem. I don't know what I want to read. So I think I might ask my sister to choose a book for me to read. That is a dangerous game I'm about to play, but I will risk it because I have no idea what I want to read. <laughs> I don't know what mood I'm in. And like, since I started reading again, I don't want to lose it. So like, I don't know. I don't know. We are about to see what I'm gonna read. I'm gonna call my sister in and hopefully she picks a good one. So Kira, what mission have I given you today? To choose out a book for you. All right, are you ready to conquer this? Yes. All right, let's go. Can you read the title for me? I'll give you the sign. Who's it by? Jandy Nelson. All right, so I'll be reading I'll Give You a Sign. That's actually a really good one to pick out because I haven't read it, but it's super hyped and like everyone loves it. So I've been wanting to read it, so good job. So it looks like I'm going to be reading I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. And I'm so excited because this is a hyped book that I own that I haven't read and I feel like everyone's read it so I'm really excited to dive into it and I love contemporaries so let's do this. So I've realized you haven't met my puppy yet. I named him Remus after the great and wonderful Professor Remus Lupin. So here we go. Remus come here. Professor Lupin. Come here. Look at the camera. Say hi. Yep. You say hi. Thank you. That's so nice. So nice. It's so nice, Remus. He's so cute. Look at that face. Look at your face. Thank you. That's so nice. But yeah. He's my puppy. And I love him. I had dreamed of the day when I would get my first dog and named him after name him after a Harry Potter character and I always knew it would be Remus because werewolf dog it just works really well but yeah now he's all cozy in my bed super cute super cute I love him anyway back to reading okay so first of all don't mind my Edward Cullen pillow back there <laughs> 22 years old, but the Twi Hard in me never dies. It's fine. Um, so I just finished chapter one of I'll Give You the Sun, and I have a few words. These chapters are long, <laughs> and I prefer short chapters. And I feel like this book, I like it a lot already. Like, I'm excited to see what happens and where it goes and what the whole plot is and everything. But I feel like it's going to take me forever, and it's not a very long book. I was hoping that I would be able to read it all today because I read The Serpent Shadow all yesterday, and it's like 400 pages, and this is less than that. So I thought I would be able to finish it today, but I feel like it's going to take me forever to read just because the chapters are long and it's just very dense, and the writing is very dense and flowery, which isn't typically my favorite kind of writing, but so far so good i'm liking it i'm interested to see where this is going i can see a few plot points and i'm interested to see how those come out into the story so 
so far so good okay so change of scenery i'm now in my living room reading i'm on page 79 and i have a few words i don't like jude i don't like her maybe i'll start to like her as i get deeper in the story and figure out more what's happened but as of right now i don't like her team noah all the way jude is just really mean <laughs> and she's just one of those like fake kind of plastic girls that i just don't really like and then well i guess i've seen into the future after what happens so i guess past jude i'm totally against but present Jude, I don't know because I don't really know exactly what happened. But I definitely do not like past Jude. So like Noah's chapters are in the past and Jude's are in like three years later. So in Noah's chapters, I don't like Jude. In Jude's chapters where it's in the future, she's definitely a different person. So we'll see if I like that different person. But I definitely don't like the original young Jude. She's just not a great person but I'm definitely digging Noah and I'm so excited to see more of like his storyline and his character and like what happened because he's really interesting and just a sweet little soul and I just I hope that he's happy and I just love him but yeah so I'm gonna continue reading now Kira are you gonna read some yeah I'm gonna read show them what you're reading where's your book this Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Woo! this is your first time reading it Nice. Finally getting her to read it. She started reading it last summer and got like halfway through and then stopped reading it. <laughs> Who does that? I don't know. So I told her this summer she needs to start over and reread the whole thing. So yeah, she's never read the series. She's watched the movies, but she's never read the series. I like the movies. She likes the movies. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to continue reading and find out what is going on. I'm currently on page 111 and I'm really enjoying it especially because I'm currently on a Noah chapter and this chapter is like almost 100 pages long I'm telling you these are long chapters and I really hate long chapters but I'm glad that Noah's chapters are long so I don't have to read Jude because <laughs> I just don't like her but we'll see but right now the problem is I just got two notifications from Netflix that two of my favorite shows just came out with new seasons and they're on Netflix and one of them is Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and the other one is Supernatural which Supernatural is like one of my all-time favorites so I am like fighting my willpower so hard right now to continue reading and not just drop everything and watch those two shows <sighs> we'll see but tonight my brother has a basketball game um, and it's like almost an hour away and I can't read in the car because I get absolutely car sick So I'm downloading two Supernatural episodes so I can watch while I'm in the car since I can't read It's gonna be great. I'm excited, but it's definitely a struggle So I came back into my room momentarily because I need to rant <sighs> Okay, let me see what page I'm on. I'm on page 142. I just finished like a 100 page Noah chapter. I'm gonna rant without spoilers just in case you're watching this and you've never read it. But I just need to say again, I cannot stand Jude and I don't know if my opinion will ever change of her, but I can't stand her. And I love Noah with my entire heart and I just want everything to be okay and I'm trying not to say spoilers, but I'm just... <laughs> I'm really angry and I'm upset and I just don't like Jude at all. She just ruined everything. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I just want Noah to be the happiest person in the world and just conquer everything and accomplish all his life goals and just be happy because I love him and he's just so precious. 
but of course <laughs> it's a young adult contemporary so everything just <laughs> is just a mess but yeah I just had a rant because that chapter did not end well for me and now I have to read a Judy chapter and I don't even like her but mind you her chapters are in the future so she is a little different and so I don't know if I like this new Jude yet we're about to find out I will let you know because I know that her chapter is like really really long too I tried flipping to see where the next chapter was because I like to see how long chapters are before I read them and I couldn't find the end so <laughs> It's okay. This book is really long chapters, but luckily it like kind of has sections within the chapters so you can still find good stopping points if you need to. But anyway, I love Noah. Can't stand Jude. Let's continue. Okay, so hello again. Update. It's been quite a while. It's currently um, 11.18 and I just got back from my roller basketball game. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Let me update you real quick. I'm on page, if I could open the book, I'm on page 213, 212, 213, one of those, and I am loving it. Like, I really, really like it. I still cannot stand Jude. I <laughs> I really don't have any sympathy for her. Um, <laughs> I just don't like her. I love Noah, and I'm really excited to see what happens in the end because I'm, like, over halfway, barely, but over halfway. So I was going to make this, like, a one-day vlog, but because... I am just loving this book so much. I'm gonna continue it until I finish the book, so I'm hoping to finish it tomorrow, but we will see. I, I'm really glad that I, my sister picked out this book to read because it's so good. But anyway, I will see y'all tomorrow. Thank you for sticking around. But yeah, it'll be like a second for you, but tomorrow for me. So good night. Good morning, guys. It is currently like 10.52 a.m. I've gotten all ready and I'm prepared to read for the day and finish this book. Like I updated you last night, I am on page 212 and there's like less than 400 pages I think. So I am prepared to finish this today and I really really want to finish this day and I'm going to stay up as late as possible to finish this day. But I feel like I will finish it well before like the afternoon, fingers crossed, we will see. But I'm so excited. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm just ready to see how it ends because so much is going on. But yeah, let's get started. So it's only been a few pages that I started reading, but I just had to do a quick update before I forgot. I just have to say, I love the British guy in the story. I'm not going to say his name because to me that's kind of a spoiler, so I'm just going to call him the British guy. But I love him so much and he's just so interesting to me and it really helps Jude's chapters go along because I don't like her. But the British guy just adds so much and he's so fascinating and I just love his character so much and I can't wait to learn all the things about him. I love him. Okay, time to check in. So I have less than 100 pages left. I'm on like 292 and everything's a mess. Literally every single thing is a mess. Noah's chapters are a mess. Jude's chapters are a mess. And less than 100 pages left. How is everything going to be fixed? I'm so distraught. I'm like so mad at 90% of the characters in this book right now because they just keep doing stupid things and they're so impulsive and oh, don't get me wrong I love this book I'm so attached to everyone and I kind of like Jude now what I know it spoke too soon but everything's just a complete mess right now and I need things to get fixed and I need everyone that I like to be happy and it's just like a major plot twist just happened which I can't tell you about because spoilers but it was a major plot twist and as soon as they said it I was just like what I had to put the book down and I was just like this is too much and like oh man so I have a Jude chapter left I think that's the last one maybe I don't know so I'm wondering if the stories will like 
converge and like start making sense and like intertwine even though the chapters are three years apart i'm just hoping it's a happy ending which doesn't look promising right now but we're gonna find out i can't put this book down okay i'll check in later wow <laughs> wow so i just finished i'll give you the sun these are happy tears i promise you that book was so good okay i need a companion novel so so incredibly bad about noah and you know who if you've read it but i because it's just like open-ended and like a cliffhanger and i just like need to know the rest of the story <laughs> it was so good i ended up loving jude what can i say i just i really loved everyone in this book the dad really came around to me in the end too guillermo oh, what a guy i just i really love the story i really love the characters like i said i just really need a companion novel to wrap it up more nicely like i need a nicer bow like it kind of had a bow but i need the bow tighter on top of the gift if you know what i mean it was just wonderful and amazing and i just i love jandy nelson and i need to read all the things like she needs to make all the books so i can read all the things she's just really good and i really hope that she writes a companion novel i know it's been a while since this book's been out but i just need more i need more noah in my life but yeah i really enjoyed it <sighs> let me know if you've read this book and your thoughts because i'm just wow but yeah i really enjoyed doing this reading vlog and i am probably going to do more in the future let me know if you enjoyed it and what books you would like to see me do a reading vlog on that would be interesting but thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye